Well, good morning. Welcome to Debbie's Back Porch. So glad to have you with us. This is the next in my Senior Nutrition Series, and I have a confession to make. This is the day before payday, and grocery shopping on the day before payday is something I would only do in extraordinary circumstances. So I made a meal totally from items I had stored. Things I bought earlier in the month. Now your body doesn't know it's the day before payday. Your body says, I need nutrition. I need food. I need fuel. And it needs to be good stuff. Plus it's always a plus if it tastes great. So I made some reduced carb clam chowder. I'm going to show you how I did that. Before I do, if you will, if you like our videos, give us a thumbs up subscribe click the little bell in the top right and you will get a notice when i post new videos now let's talk about eating let me start out by saying this is not a keto recipe but you can make it a keto recipe and i'll tell you how this is clams i've had these clams in the pantry since oh i don't know maybe november i bought them at the dollar tree on one of my little shopping explorations and they cost a dollar a can this is frozen cauliflower i like to keep a good variety of frozen vegetables and this is hominy and i'm going to talk a little bit more about hominy but i'll tell you now oh, that's butter and i'm going to use half an onion if we make this a keto recipe we leave out the hominy and we leave out this two tablespoons full of flour this series is about senior nutrition, not keto. So that's some salt, some pepper, a little garlic powder. I've got some parsley flakes here. I'm going to use all of that, plus a little paprika. Plus two cups of cream, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Let's talk about hominy. If you buy three different cans of three different brands of hominy, this back label is going to give you a different carb count for each one. However, the nutrition sites say... 19 net grams of carbs per cup and that's what i'm using and this is frozen cauliflower it's very low in carbs about four grams per cup if you're making this keto leave out the hominy use all cauliflower the uh, texture is a little different but it's yummy just the same so i heated this hominy i rinsed the starch off and I think the starch in a can is the reason you get a different carb count on the can than you do on the nutrition sites. But I heated it up, and now I'm going to blend it in the food processor. And right away, I'm going to make a confession here. I normally add about an ounce of the cream when I'm mixing the hominy. Senior moment, I forgot. That was two tablespoons of butter. So if you add just a little of your two cups of cream, you get a little better consistency here. It processes a little faster. It's something you want to do. As I say, I didn't. Do as I say, not as I do. That's what I tell the kids. So let's talk just a little bit about hominy. Why would I use it? Um, it has half the carbs, half the net carbs of potatoes. Uh, it, it adds a great texture. Hominy is made from corn, but it has so much more accessible vitamins. Now, it doesn't fit on any keto diet, really. But unless you've been advised otherwise by your doctor, all seniors need to cut down on the carbs. We just can't process them the way we used to. They add to inflammation. Lowering your carb intake helps you feel better. So you're not on keto, let's say, but you want to lower your carb intake. Hominy is a vitamin-rich substitute. So I've got the graininess out of here. Uh, it would be better if I had added a little of the cream. Meet you at the stove. So I have in here three tablespoons full of butter, just melted, bubbling a little, but I don't want them to brown. At, don't want it to brown at all. I want it to stay golden, so I have the temperature pretty low. I've added my half an onion. You can see that I minced it up fairly finely. If you want to make this onion into a mirepoix by adding a little chopped 
celery and a little chopped carrot feel free as i said it's the day before payday fresh vegetables are at a premium onions store for a long time so i'm just letting these wilt a little no browning don't want any browning and i'm going to add the two tablespoons of flour now if you're eating keto leave the flour out you can add a quarter teaspoonful of xanthan gum. You can add a quarter teaspoonful of the konjac root. You can add two tablespoons full of carb quick. Whatever you use as a flour substitute, you can add it or you can just leave it out. It, it will be pretty creamy anyway. So now I'm going to add my clams. I'm using two of the little cans. One is probably enough, but I really like a lot of clams. Save all the juice. We want the flavor from the juice in there. And I'm going to cook these with the onions just a little. No browning. And as I said, I got these at the Dollar Tree. If you don't have Dollar Tree uh, in your area, you will probably pay more for them. But I paid a dollar a can. And I eat them fairly often because I can get them for a dollar a can. They're a little bit more at the other dollar stores, not a whole lot. They're way more at the grocery store. That's going to vary depending on where you live. I'm going to add just a little salt. That was actually about a quarter teaspoonful of salt. Both the clams and the hominy have some salt in them and we'll taste it later and adjust. You'll see that I have two cups of cream measured out over here. This is actually one cup half and half, one cup heavy whipping cream. If you're not eating keto, you can use milk, whole milk. Please don't use 2% milk in this. And you may not know that the higher the fat content in your cream or milk, the lower the carb count and the richer the flavor. I hope that with this series, I help convince you to abandon the low fat lifestyle. Here, here's the, um, Hominy, I'm going to add this in and, and break up all those little lumps, which I wouldn't have if I had used the cream. It, as a senior, more and more I read and find in research done by reputable researchers like the Mayo Clinic that a low-fat diet is simply not good for your brain. It just is not. And that following a low-carb, high-fat diet helps decrease your chances of developing dementia in later years. And I know none of us want to talk about that, but all of us think about it. So do a little research, and I know your doctor will probably disagree. Do a little research. Do what you have to do. You decide. But the emerging research on this is pretty good. So now I'm going to add the cauliflower, and this was microwaved, just according to directions. Then I drained it to make sure the liquid was gone, because I want to keep the creaminess. I did not put this on the food, in the food processor because I want chunks of cauliflower left in the mix. If you're using all cauliflower, you may want to put about half of it in the food processor with some cream and some butter just to get the texture. Play with this, get it the texture you want, but the ingredients are good for you. And remember, they're very inexpensive. The hominy was 89 cents. The cauliflower was a dollar and 69 cents. The clams were a dollar a can. Butter in your area, cream, uh, that's going to vary a lot. But this is going to make four servings of a tasty economical meal, no matter how you buy it and where you have to buy your groceries. So I'm tasting for salt now, and I'm going to add... Uh, a little garlic powder. I actually think I'm fine on the salt. A little garlic powder. I'm going to add a little pepper or a lot of pepper. This is all to your preference, to your taste. I have used uh, red pepper flakes and they are yummy in this. If you'll see, I'm getting a little bubbling around the sides. I don't want it to get any hotter than that because it, it will scorch. It's heavy in dairy. But you can always already see it thickening up because there's some starch left in the hominy. Uh, the cauliflower, I mashed it. It's going to thicken a little bit. 
And because of the heavy whipping cream, we're going to get that rich, creamy texture that we would get if we had made this from potatoes. Let me give it a little taste and, and just a little hint. It thickens up pretty quickly now. You want to watch it and not let it get too thick if you're using the hominy. It, it probably won't get too thick if you're using just cauliflower. So this is basically done. You just let it simmer low on low until it gets to the thickness you want. I'm going to add some dried parsley flakes. If I had fresh parsley, I would add some of that. But you add it at the end. It just gives a little color because you know this is kind of white on white. So adding a little color and I'll put a little paprika on the top when I serve it. Uh, paprika adds just a tiny bit of flavor and a lot of color. It, you should use it more. I love paprika. Uh, it really will perk up your food. Let's dish this up. So this is dinner in a bowl. It's so tasty. Smells so good. You can dress it up if you want. You can have it with a sandwich. You can have it with a salad. You can have crackers. You can have garlic bread. I personally like it with cornbread, but no, I'm not eating cornbread. But look at that. Let me show it to you. I want you to see the texture. It's got lots of chunks. It's dripping. Let me catch it. It's got lots of chunks of cauliflower, chunks of clam, little bits of onion, and the creamy richness of the heavy whipping cream. Mm. So does this taste exactly like New England style clam chowder? No, it doesn't have potatoes in it, but it has a wonderful taste and it has lots of vitamins and I'm going to guarantee you it's better for you than the potato based soup and it's so inexpensive. You can eat this the day before payday. Thank you for joining us on Debbie's Back Porch. Hope you like this recipe. Hope you try it. And I hope to see you again tomorrow.